Hi, welcome to Laura's Handmade Home. Today I have two cream separators here in front of me that I'd like to show you. Uh, this one I bought on Wish.com. It was approximately $160, including shipping. This one I bought on SlavicBeauty.net, and it was $280 with free shipping. This one is manual. This one is electric. And I'll show you the differences because there was not a lot of information when I bought mine uh, showing people what the differences were. They, there were. There are videos out there showing you how they work. They're not videos showing the differences. Um, so anyway, I bought this one first and unfortunately it broke. So then I bought another one. So what happened was in this one, the metal broke right off the top of here. I have no idea how that happened and sadly, uh, because I bought it on Wish, and I'm pretty sure it's similar to the ones that are sold on Amazon, there's no support. So I'm stuck with a broken cream separator and a lot of goats that I milk every day. And um, so once that broke, after using a manual, I decided to get a, an electric one. And uh, the difference is this is so much easier to use. So let me just show you a couple things. I won't be able to completely show you how this works because it is broken, but uh, let's see. Let me show you a few of the differences here. Uh, as you can see, they, they look very similar. The paint doesn't stay on this. I found out uh, when I cleaned it, the paint was rubbing off on my cleaning rag. But other than that, they're, they're pretty similar. Oh, and this one I got, uh, the, the Slavic Beauty one, actually I bought the all metal model. So it's very nice because this piece, if you can see, these are the pieces that go on top. Let me show you the inside. Can you see that? The inside of the plastic is broken, so I would not recommend getting a plastic one. This one is all metal. And it's, so far, so good, doing great. Now, let's see. Here are the two, and like I said, this one is broken, so I, it, it won't even come off of here. It's stuck on here. Show you the difference here. Inside, each of these has this, I forget, like a cone, I don't know what it's called. Um, but this is the important part. This is one of the major differences besides the fact that it is electric. The cream separators, you need to adjust the screw to get the cream as thick or as liquidy as you want. And this is the color that this came with. So it's always looked kind of that yellowish color. And here's the Slavic one. All right. And I don't even think I can get this out to show you because I, when I took it out before, I literally had to pound it out with a screwdriver and a hammer. It will come out. The problem is the screw in this is so far into the, out, the exterior metal piece, um, you have to mess with the screw each and every time. This one, and this is, again, this is the, the major difference to me, besides the quality. Uh, this one comes in and out very easily for washing, and the screw stays in the plastic part. So once you get this adjusted, and it'll take a few times when you get your cream separator, once you get this adjusted where you want it, it just stays in here for washing. Um, you can easily take it in and out to wash it. And you definitely need to do that because when you're separating your milk, it will get up underneath this part, up underneath here. Okay, and then the little cones, you get, I think they're between 12 and 14. And the little cones are virtually identical. So let me just clarify, when I say you can take it in and out for washing, I mean this part comes in and out easily for washing, but the little screw that you adjust will always stay in there. So once you get it set where you want it, um, you just leave that screw alone. And there's, there's a little kind of a ridge so you can get it in there. And again, this one, I have, you can kind of see, hopefully, can you see that? You can kind of see that the screw comes through the metal. So um, it, it just, it's very difficult. 
So then each time that you would want to adjust your cream, you'd have to go back and fiddle with the screw. Okay, so back to these. The cones, there are 12, somewhere between 12 and 14 of them. They feel a little bit different, but they're just about the same. These are a little rougher and these are a little smoother, but honestly, I didn't notice a difference with those. Okay. And, oh, you should know if you get one of these that each cone has a circle and a bump. And they have to alternate when you put them on this thing. So it would go, um, let's see, here, let me show you the differences here. Okay, so you've got a wide area between the circle and the bump and a close together area between the circle and the bump. Can you see that okay? All right, my camera people are behind there telling me. Uh, and then you just alternate them. And it doesn't matter which one goes first, as long as you alternate them. So right here, I've got wide space, and then I'll put the next one has them closer together. Okay, and you just get them on there, and this goes on top. And usually I would do this not while it's on here. And this goes down. And again, I can't put my this one all the way together just because it's broken. And each one came with, where's this one? They each came with a tool. Here's the one from Slavic. Here's the knockoff version. And this worked fine, except here it is. So you put this on here, and this goes on here, and then this little tool would adjust that. And then this one, same thing, you put it on here. The little tool, and tighten it. Can you see this okay? Oh, there. I didn't have it on all the way. So you hand tighten it, and then you just give it a little snug up. And this tool is also what you're, I'm not going to mess with mine because I finally got it where I like it. But this tool is also what you stick in here, and it makes it really easy to see if you're going a, a quarter or a half turn when you're when you first get it to adjust it. Okay, so this goes in here, and it also comes. Both of them came with an extra um, washer that goes down in this part in case something ever happens to that. Okay, so did we show these already? Yes. No. Okay, so let me uh, put these together real quick and show you. Each one has the two, uh, the two separate pieces, and these were also pretty close to the same quality as each other. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this with these, let's see. Okay, we'll just pretend that this is together. Oh, I should tell you what happened to this one. The metal on this broke, which I mentioned in the beginning, um, and it, I don't know how, but it broke right off of this piece, so I can't even screw this back on, so there's just no way. I mean, the metal just literally broke right off, and what happened is it happened that metal broke while I was uh, getting cream, and I had a whole bunch of cream in my bowl up on top while it was spinning really, really fast. And it sounded like a sonic boom in my kitchen. Boom. And milk went everywhere. It was a mess. It was all over every single cabinet, my refrigerator. Um, it was all over the win my kitchen windows. I mean, I have a pretty large kitchen behind you that you can't see. It, and it went everywhere in here. Um, so that was not pleasant. But anyway, let's see if I can kind of put this together and show you. So this is for the skim milk. And that's for the cream. And then we would put these on top. Okay. And here we have, these are pretty much the same. They're little floats that go inside here. Okay. And this, okay, this is this one. I'm going to move that off to the side so you can still see me. And then this is the Slavic one. All right. Now, to use, looks like I want to get these pieces mixed up here. To use the manual one, you have to put it on, you have to mount it to something. So I took this, and it's all stained up now, but I took this cutting board that I got from Ikea, 
Can you see that okay? And I put it on here, and you can see I had little screw holes in here. And then what I did is I took two C clamps and I mount and I put it on my countertop so then I could put the bowls out in front. And with the C clamps holding this down, actually it had to go like this because you got to get the handle back here where it needs to be. And the problem is it's really a two person operation, if not three. And um, you get this going. And let me take these off because I don't want to do it with all these things on here because it is broken. I'll give you a little demo on how this, how you have to get this going. All right. So the handle goes in here. And I don't know how much I can do since it's not actually bolted in any longer. But you, you see how it takes a long time to get it up to speed and then you have to keep it up to speed while you're attempting to pour 90 degree milk in there keeping the milk warm turning this keeping your bowls and then once they start to get a little bit full you have to have your daughter come over and help move the bowls so it's kind of a juggling act to do all that at once the nice thing about the electric one and why I would highly recommend if you have an extra few dollars, I would get the electric one, is... Pardon? It's much quieter. It is much quieter, yes. Oh, and the Slavic one, um, it does come with the strange, for people in the United States, a strange plug-in, but they include the converter for you. And it seems to work just fine. All right. Um, and you can bolt this down. I don't because I like to move it around and it doesn't seem to go anywhere as long as it's on either a cutting board or uh, one of those shelf liners you could put under there. But I like to be able to easily lift this up and clean the cutting board later. So we'll just pretend that we have some milk in here and let me show you. If you notice that other one was kind of loud and it got louder and louder. I didn't have it anywhere near full speed, but it gets very loud. Now listen to this one. It's a little bit loud, but not horrible. Once it gets going, I can talk over it and it's fine. And it doesn't go anywhere. And look, I have my hands free. I can pour my milk in the top. I can move my uh, bowls out of the way when the cream is ready. And it's so much easier. I'll turn that off. And then the other thing I wanted to mention too, that I really appreciated about the Slavic one. That's gonna make a little noise as it cycles down there. Is the uh, instruction manual. And I will hold this up so you can see. Um, it is written in English, but not very good English. So I had kind of a hard time understanding it. But there is this instructions. This is from the knockoff one. I mean, they're okay. Uh, I did, I was able to use it, but um, I did watch a couple of YouTube videos too. And then here's the one that came with the Slavic beauty one. And I just love the pictures on the front too. They're cute. And let me show you. It's all in English. If I can't turn to the page, I was going to show you here. So they have some pictures in there of exactly how to use the machine. And it's really helpful. Also, their customer, I did have to email their customer service because of the um, COVID, things were taking a little bit longer to ship. And um, they were super nice. I was afraid there was gonna be a language barrier when I emailed them and there wasn't. So, but I highly recommend this versus the knockoff version. It really was a good purchase. I'm happy with it. Very glad I got it. Um, again, the this version was 160. Uh, which would have been fine if it lasted, but it broke, and now I'm out $160, and this one was $280, but I, I upgraded to the electric, which is really such an, a nicer machine, having it be electric, and I think it was well worth the money. They did not... Um, 
I bought this with my own money. They didn't send this to me or anything. I just thought it was important that some people see the differences because I did not know the differences when I bought this and sadly, I wasted some money. So hopefully this video will help you and when you're making a choice for your cream separator. Good luck and thanks for watching Laura's Handmade Home.